In today's video, I will teach you how to add a tattoo to a person using GIMP. Let's get started. Start by launching GIMP and open the image of the person that you want to add a tattoo by going to File, then Open, then select your image file. Then drag the tattoo file onto the GIMP canvas. This action adds the tattoo as a new layer on top of your subject image. Alternatively, you can draw a tattoo directly onto a new layer over your subject image. Now, ensure the tattoo layer is selected. Now use the Scale tool to resize the tattoo and the Move tool to place it correctly over the subject's body. And you can also use the Rotate tool to adjust the angle. With the tattoo layer still selected, go to Layers, then Layer to Image Size. This step makes your tattoo layer the same size as the underlying image, ensuring that the displacement effect works correctly. With the tattoo layer selected, navigate to Filters, Map, then Displace. In the Displace dialog, set the X and Y displacement to the layer containing the subject image. Then experiment with the displacement amount a value around 5 is often effective. Then click OK when you're satisfied. Then change the blending mode of the tattoo to multiply by selecting it from the mode drop down menu in the layers dialog. This blend mode integrates the tattoo with the skin, making it appear as if it's a part of your body. Feel free to experiment with other blend modes such as overlay or soft light to achieve different effects. If necessary, adjust the opacity of the tattoo layer to make it blend more naturally. You can also use the eraser tool with a soft brush to gently erase parts of the tattoo for a more realistic look. To further integrate the tattoo with the skin, you can apply a slight Gaussian blur to the tattoo layer by going to Filters, Blur, then Gaussian Blur. This softens the edges and helps the tattoo blend seamlessly. Then zoom out to view the entire image and ensure that the tattoo looks natural and appropriately integrated. Then make any final adjustments as needed. And once you're satisfied, save your edited image by going to File, then Export As, and choose a file format like JPEG or PNG. Then save another version as an XCF file to retain layers for future edits. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.